Leo Pirate. Leo Pirate. What are your pronouns? Uh, he and him. Uh, Mrs. Demon Mama. Thank you. So, on the subject, uh, are we still talking about whether or not kinks should be shown at uh, Gay Pride Parade? Uh, I don't know. That's up to you, right? You're the one who called in with contentions. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> well, I, I've been watching some of your content. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. you know. Um, Thank you. And I, I see that you have a really pro internet pornography stance and i really just wanted oh, to I know i absolutely do oh yeah totally so I, I just wanted to know what's your what's the line at internet pornography like what do you think what what do you mean by line what boundaries so would you accept uh say things like sexual depictions of minors or bestiality is that under the umbrella of pornography still no no i don't think no. so no you don't think so? No. Um, no. It seems pretty bad to me. Those th those seem pretty bad. Geez. Um, but yeah. but why? Like by what definition? Is it just it feels bad to you? No, no, no. Um, if we're um, if we're talking about why they're bad, oh, they're bad because I mean, well, first of all, they are uh, generally the products of those are uh, to create the product in the first place requires an, an unbelievable amount of harm. Um, often a direct harm that is oh, usually, no what about is, like uh, is, photographs hold on a second the creation mm -hmm. of those things um, it requires usually an incredible amount of direct harm which is usually uh, reinforced directly by the uh, by the consumption and further production of those things so yeah I, I oppose those things pretty strongly and those things um, such as you know bestiality and pedophilia require violations of consent of a level that is is, is beyond beyond reasonable um, and I recognize that there are all kinds of images online um, that are that prop promulgate online and, and share around that are not 100 percent um, consensual or may have not been produced with perfect consent but they are I, I believe that the um, the reasonability with which you can say that there is like say for example say that you you go on Pornhub and you log in and you watch a uh, like a, a porn and you and and unbeknownst to you that porn was actually like recorded and sold against somebody's will um i don't think that you're uh like that you are like involved in that in any in any reasonable manner by which you could be morally impugned um for for partaking of a thing that you believed was created in a, in a, a consensual manner i do believe that the people who produce that thing could be targeted so it comes down to consent for you that's like of the course, fulcrum yeah. that's the, i mean that's usually so yes. then yeah consent is pretty it, fucking there's important. So then, um, and this is why I want to know what's the line uh, for illustrations of sexualized uh, children or illustrations of uh, bestiality. Because I, I was watching a different stream where you said, and I quote, I would unironically fight for furry rights. Yes, absolutely. And I was confused. Oh, I do fight for um, furry rights. Absolutely do I fight for furry rights. Yep. I, I was a little baffled. What are furry rights? Oh, I think that furries should have the right to be who they are, to be to live life just like we've been discussing all tonight. I don't think that just because furries like uh, something like uh, like dressing up in fur suits and going to fur cons that uh, some people find cringe that they should be treated poorly. I think they should be accepted and and loved just like any other uh, any other sentient being. But is that not the other person's liberty of conscience, uh, their own, if you will? freedom of speech to express the opinion, not necessarily directed at the person that they think that this is reprehensible. Yeah, sure. Uh, and disgusting you're, and, and, yep, absolutely. You absolutely have but, the right to say that. And you're a fucking asshole and an idiot. There you go. Boom. But then but how, was that not a violation of furry rights? Because you said that they deserve respect. They deserve. Yeah, I am existence. arguing. So, I am. I am making the claim and I am making the argument that they deserve respect from other people. Because I'm not hearing and, any legal definitions from this. This seems yeah, because just I like don't a matter a of shit. opinion. No, because I don't give a shit about legal. Like, what the fuck? What are you talking about? Why should I care I about I hear legality? the word furry rights and that you're willing to fight for them. You're willing to yeah, sure. uh, die for AI rights. And yes, oh, I'm sorry, that was what the. Yeah, I am. I am willing <laughs> to die for AI rights. Yep, that's correct. Yeah, well, great. No, so now I know I it's would just go to a war. Of... I would go to war for that. Oh, I just think that rights are a, an amorphous structure that we have to deal with. Now, I think that I, I believe um, – can you, uh, can you like, um, either pause the stream or lower your speakerphone a little bit because I'm picking up an echo? Can you hear me? I'll mute, my, I'll, I'll mute myself when I'm not talking. Oh, okay. That, that works as well. Okay. Um, I, I don't remember what, we, what I was saying. What, what, were, what, was I, what, was, what were you asking me about?
Sorry, can you repeat? What you, you said that you're willing to go to war for uh, rights, uh, oh, AI yeah, rights, totally furry rights. Do. Yep, absolutely. And yes, that's right. Um, because uh, I don't, I don't have any ability to abolish the state and to um, to build structures that would autonomously assure uh, um, um, egalitarian structures. Um, you know, that would reinforce and and propagate egalitarianism. Um, I, I exist in a world where there are states where rights exist, where that rights are, exist that are, you know, sometimes protected by a monopoly on violence or whatever. And I have critiques of that or whatever, but that doesn't matter. I think that the freedom of those individuals supersedes um, any sort of legal argument or, or, uh, or uh, moral uh, precedent of, of, of like of the existence of a state. So even though I am highly critical of states, so then could you give an example of furry persecution? Of, of oh like... yeah, absolutely. Um, let me bring this up real quick here. I can give you an exact example right now. Hold on a second. One second. On December seventh, twenty fourteen, um, a a the the a gas attack was done uh, at Midwest Fur Fest, which resulted in the hospitalization. Um, of 19 people chlorine gas was released into the midwest fur fest um sending 19 people to the hospital yeah there you go there's a great example a one of the one of the terrorist attacks in our country that was never talked about that could have killed a lot of people but thankfully some very very intelligent people happened to figure out that hey there's a there's chlorine gas being released in here we need to get people out of here before anybody died so yes so with um so with furry rights, do you think that that person should have deserved a, a worse? Like I, I'm seeing, I'm trying to imagine like uh, how would this, even no, if think... you're fighting for furry rights, how would that prevent that from happening? Wait, how would that prevent that from? Wait, what do you mean by that? Like I would, the, I would the... say that I would say that we should fight for a society where that would be treated as a horrible act that people remember, and that the people who perpetrated that would be uh, through whatever. Uh, whatever available and and just structures as possible uh, prevented from being able to do that again in the future, and furthermore, socially discouraged from ever doing such a thing like that. We should have. So a you want to make I it more to... acceptable, is what of I'm course, trying to say. Absolutely. Like furry... Oh, one hundred percent. I would love it. I would love it if every person on the fucking planet would get over themselves and just accept that there are some people who are furries and stop being fucking weird about it. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, the reason why I'd be against it is there's a, a study published by Zillman and Bryant uh, titled Pornography's Impact on Sexual Satisfaction. Uh, it was published in the Journal of Applied Sociology and Psychology. And in it, they were talking about how... Can you send me a link to the study real quick so I can just take a look at it? Uh, sure. I mean, I can send it. I can DM it to you. Yes, but this do. is the citation. And it's, by the way, it's from a book that okay. is titled Your Brain on Porn by... Oh, uh, nice. That doesn't... Does that... Do you think that sounds like a, a very uh, a, a, uh, unbiased source? Uh, yeah, it's written by an atheist psychologist and oh, neurochemist nice. researcher, Gary Wilson. Do you um, think he that, has no religious think, wait, wait, affiliation wait, Do you think that someone has to have religious affiliation in order to have... Um, abhorrent positions on 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 um other things or to have you asked bias. about bias so i'm yeah. telling you that his you bias that is not religious an porn bias i don't know his bias is yes his bias you know his bias is scientific yes his bias is empirical absolutely it's Empir empirical em empirical no that is not how bias works that shows that you don't really understand what do you mean you an empirical that doesn't make any sense. That is like laughably silly thing to say. I'm actually stunned that like those words just came out of your mouth. Okay, hmm. let's see this study. Well, because I'm just telling you the kind of science that uh, I'd like to I'd like to read you a quote from the paper. It said, sure. uh, subjects were exposed either to common nonviolent pornography or to innocuous videos for one hour in each of six consecutive weeks. Two weeks later, they were provided with an opportunity to watch videotapes in privacy mm -hmm. with a choice of a G-rated, R-rated, and X-rated videos. Mm -hmm. The subjects who had watched pornography showed little interest in viewing nonviolent porn, electing instead to view bondage, sadomasochism, and bestiality. This consumption preference Damn. was much more pronounced in males, uh, though present in some extent in females. Okay. And this is from Zillman and Bryant's uh, Pornography is Impact on Sexual to, What's this supposed to prove? That the exposure to these uh, sexual... Par uh, these these if you call them kinks I, I hate using that word but you know okay. it's what it's in this area but mm -hmm. exposure to these kind of things actually do change people and you know much of the youth is already exposed to this uh, on the internet mm -hmm. um you know obscenity laws don't apply to the internet for some reason mm -hmm. uh bestiality porn photographic bestiality porn which you say is a problem because of consent it's still there 
uh, yeah, children and yeah. youth are still being exposed to oh, it. Oh, did you know, uh, by the way, you're, you're, wait, you're a big fan, wait, wait, hold on, you're a big fan of legal arguments. Did you know that in, like, I think it's close I'm to, I'm not like, a fan of legal I, arguments. I well, was just you, trying to clarify what you meant. But, I mean, if we're talking about legal legality, did you know that in the, um, that a, a, a like, somewhere around the ballpark of approximately one-fourth of all U.S. states, um, it is actually legal to both produce and possess bestiality porn? Oh, and by the way, these are mostly red states, uh, states that are highly Christian. Weird about that, huh? Yeah, fantastic guy. I don't care about uh, laws. I'm I'm oh, a Christian cool. by you know God's morality. Yeah, for up to me, about, you know, yeah, okay. yeah, sexual subject matter for the exclu exclusive purpose of sexual arousal called pornography. Mm -hmm. I'm completely against it, whether on the are. internet, Absolutely. print, or video. Um, but I'm telling you, the science supports mm -hmm. this. No, it doesn't. You know, just because. You, no, 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 no. Hold well, on a second. Wait, wait. Let's be clear. Let's be clear here. One study is not the science. It will never be the science. I know. That's no, one no, no, study no, 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 out no, no, of a no. book, which Hold you have disclaimed as biased without reading. Hold on a second, my dude. Don't get ahead of yourself there. Listen, God does not respect haste. Okay? So let's not get ahead of ourselves. No matter what, you could, if you, if you can produce wide like a, a wide consensus, a, a meaningful and convincing wide consensus, that would be great. What you have right now is one study. And interestingly, I'm looking at this study right now, and it does not claim what you say, what you say it claims. All that this shows is that people who were exposed to porn one week, then later were w desired some other type of porn there is nothing in here i'm reading this abstract right now right now this does not show whether they were whether these people were uh controlled for previously existing kinks or fetishes whether these people were um actually affected by that what you've shown is a very very loose correlation that is all that this study claims that's it. okay so then from may 2014 the prestigious mm -hmm. journal uh, jma psychiatry published research showing that even in moderate porn users uh and the use was quantified as the number of years and current hours per week uh, sure. was directly correlated with reduced gray matter and decreased sexual responsiveness. Okay. Uh, in 2014, a Harvard urology professor, wait, Dr. Wait, hold on Morgan, a wait, Cullen, whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't get ahead of yourself, Mr. Gish Gallup. Once again, God does not like a hasty, a hasty man. Okay, and nor does nor yes, does, nor does please nor tell does me more Lama. about God. Oh, I know quite a lot about God. Do you, Thank you, you, Demon are you, Lama. Are you familiar with my? Are you familiar with my history? Uh, please enlighten me. Yeah, I grew up in an in, in extremely, extremely uh, zealous um, Christian cult. I was incredibly, incredibly faithful until eventually, through exploring philosophy, I decided to deconvert from Christianity. I have read the entire Bible cover to cover approximately four times, and I have gone to uh, every year of my life from the age of approximately nine to ten until the age of 20, I went to Bible studies uh, somewhere in the ballpark of one to three times per week. And then also every single summer and every single winter went to uh, Christian Bible retreats. And I took this incredibly seriously. So yeah, you mm -hmm. don't really get to flex your God knowledge on me. I, I guarantee you I've read more of the no, Bible. I'm just than pointing you out have. how ridiculous it is. Your name well, is Demon Mama and you're telling me about God. Your, your arrogance knows no bounds. And I assure you that my familiarity with God as a demon is better than yours as a, a mere mortal. Really, your d demonstration, your stances, really, yes. and actually your history explains everything. Oh, I mean, uh, it, it, it reveals way more hard. about yourself than you oh, yeah? imagine. Like what? What is that? What does it reveal, Leo Pirate? It seems like a rebellious spirit is in you. Um, oh, rebellious you just... spirit. Oh, wait. Uh, can you tell me what about the past? What about my past of years of years of, of diligently attending all of my Bible studies for the, for well, the majority simple. of my life? Uh, the, the Pharisees were learned Bible scholars, and they killed mm -hmm. Christ. Simply reading the Bible cover to cover or studying the, the Word of God many times, that doesn't mean I'm, anything I'm sorry, about hold on, your knowledge Hold on a God. second. Excuse me. I'm going to need you to correct that because you just lied. The Pharisees were not Bible scholars. The Bible literally did not exist. The Pharisees were Hebrew The Old Testament scholars. scriptures existed at that time. When I use the word Bible, the, I am simply excuse using me. it as to, a me. colloquial to, term me. for the time. Do Listen, not get pedantic Excuse me. me. Excuse me. I want to just make some corrections because if you're going to be religious here and you want to engage in weird religious flexing, I'm going to engage in that right back to you. Because here's the funny thing. You don't have— And you you're are, failing at it. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm succeeding wonderfully. Now, let me show you another thing that you've gotten wrong here, because once again, your arrogance, which I, I have on, I have on, uh, you know, I have on, uh, on, on good, on good, um, on, on, on good account that God would not be very happy with that. But you are attempting to push your modern, I'm guessing probably white Christian um, outlook on the people 
the chosen people of God, okay? So it was not the Old Testament. That is your little made up book that was made up at the, at the Creed of Nicaea uh, uh, and, then, and then edited through thousands and thousands of corporations that are changing money hands, changing the book to make it as convenient and digestible for modern, boring Christians like yourself who know nothing of the, of the deep knowledge contained within this tome. Meanwhile, you're trying to say, oh, my Old Testament, my Old Testament. No, bitch. That was, that was the fucking primordial Hebrew texts. Don't you dare fucking invite that shit on me my god you don't know who calling you're fucking me messing arrogant with. calling me white none of no, which I'm is pointing true. out those you've oh, been you've been categorically oh i'm sorry oh i'm so sorry i'm really really but, sorry uh, i'm really sorry to hey, call you white i'm sorry i didn't mean to insult you by calling you white and calling me but aside from that um what's hilarious is the chosen people um you know christ said that they were not abraham's seed it's not by genetic lineage mm. that you are God's chosen people. Uh, uh, you know, if you are Ishmael, nor Ishmael was related to Abraham, and he hey, wasn't. Do you think the that? Do you think the people promise? that God actually said? Do you think the people that God actually said were His people? Do you think they would disagree with you on this, or are you just trying desperately to cloy your way into the? Absolutely, the Pharisees people? would disagree with that, and they killed Christ. Oh, you're embarrassing. They said that we are. They said we are Abraham's seed, but Christ you, said, "No, you are your God, father, if, the devil." If you were to stand before because God it's right not now, genetic. You're, it's you're, not genetic, you're Mama. You're, but you're going to tell me you're lucky. You're lucky you're lucky that that you're not that you're not standing before god right now because uh if you were standing before god right now i think that he would have a couple of fucking harsh words to say for you mm. and your and christ and your said posturing your arrogant posturing and god and christ said the father judges no man but hath committed all judgment unto the son mm. so please okay cool please. Well, then i guess so then what, the by, so excuse me then if the that wait, wait wait if that's the case then by what by what by what right do you judge anyone by what right do you ju judge me? Why by I what judge right do you no judge one porn in the users? final uh, in the final judgment about yes, who goes your opinion to heaven, means nothing. I am not go doing pray. that. Go pray. When Christ your said, opinion no, means Christ nothing. Said, you are you are Christ, wrestling with beings that are greater than you. You are wrestling with an angel and you are wrestling with the with with a with a fallen angel and you are wrestling with the words of God. And you know really, nothing. You are a child. I'm bringing I'm bringing science to you and you're Getting very do you upset believe, wait wait quick question about, do you actually believe in science or are you just interested in using science as a tool to push your manipulative ideology do you actually care about science uh, no ab no absolutely no absolutely i do not believe in science because science ah, isn't a belief oh, it's a it's an empirical oh, method eliminating oh, evidence interesting. okay cool but you treat science like a religion no, I don't. Science says science. Science is a step-by-step -step process of disseminating Actually, excuse evidence. Excuse me. Excuse no, me. Please tell me what science is no, really no, about. It's very, it's very interesting. It's very interesting because that is. It's very interesting that you're saying that now because that is literally what you did. People. Will science be, doesn't require me, I'm belief. Not done I'm providing you I'm evidence, not and then done you're saying, oh. "Talking." Calm yourself down, okay? Listen. You came in here saying science says that porn is bad, and what you showed is that you don't actually understand. I said how Zillman and Bryant. You pornography don't know impact on sexual how satisfaction, science works. The prestigious and journal of shown, GMA, and Harvard urology. I'm going professor. to mute you now, okay? I'm going to mute you if you don't stop. I understand. We've already gone through that. You've cited a study that does not say what you says it. What you say it does. It does not say that. I will. You could. I can literally post this link directly into the chat, and every single person in chat will be able to see that it does not say what it says you did what it says what you say it did instead what it does what it does say is that they were able to find a correlation between some people doing a porn and some people choosing a quote unquote violent porn in the future there is no as far as i can tell from looking at this study, there is no control for what those people may have been into before the study. There is no control for what may have happened to them during the study. And there is no evidence that shows that that was actually what made them choose those things. So what you're doing here is you are cynically u attempting to use science without actually understanding science to uh, in defense of your religious invocation. I am providing one study from a book mm -hmm. by... You are doing um, what I just a said. Psychologist and neurochemist researcher Gary Wilson, um, and I'd like to provide other evidence. But you seem to be. Well, I read oh, the experimental no. portion. Sure. You are just uh, reading the abstract, and you know, suddenly you know more. No, uh, I'm just saying that you. I'm the control that, factors and everything about the experiment. Anybody can cite. Anybody can cite any any research 
but one mm -hmm. single study and anyone does not can look it up on Google Scholar and say, "Whoa, this isn't saying exactly what you say it is." When I'm saying it's evidence Wait, yes. in support of the no, claim. no, 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 but that's not evidence in support of what you're saying. See, this is how people this is how people use science incorrectly. This is how people use the tool that is science incorrectly. People like you, manipulative people with an ideology to push who don't actually actually think that you don't actually think that science does what it says it does. You're a Christian. You you can't I said wait, wait, hold on I a don't believe wait, in let me science finish. because it second. doesn't require me, belief. Hold on a second. Let me finish something. You are you are totally misinterpreting. That is I'm not saying. misinterpreting. I am making a call on Science your is not a belief. Okay. It's an empirical method of disseminating I evidence. agree with you. you believe this is not science, what I'm talking about. That is not what I'm, that is not what I'm talking about. What I'm saying is that you don't actually use science to come to your conclusions. What you are doing now is you are attempting to cynically weaponize a wait, scientific course, wait, wait, study. Wait, wait, wait. To... I've never made that claim. As a the moral fact, God's word is true. Therefore, ah, there is yes. empirical evidence to support it. Ah, yes, the impure I'm sorry, can you restate that real quick? I believe God's word is true because that requires faith. However, faith is not blind obedience. It's evidence-based hope. No, it isn't. And I find that your the what moral is your, principles sorry, sorry, hold put on, sorry. forth in God's excuse word— me, Excuse me. What is your evidence? What is your scientific evidence that your word of God is any more relevant than any other word of God that has ever been produced? You don't uh, have the Son it. of God, Christ. Yes, I uh, do. Yes, the, no, the biblical you do not. prophecies oh, by which you believe that's, it was that's edited your, in the first wait, council of Nicaea. Where's your, the evidence that it was edited in the first council of Nicaea? Wait, wait you want Where's to know? the evidence that it was edited? Excuse me. Excuse me. We literally have the evidence because they wrote it oh, down. Literally, and they said what we they were doing. literally. Yes, we do. Really, because yeah, the Dead Sea Scrolls the show that there's a one-to-one -one, uh, word mapping between the Isaiah Scroll, between um, the uh, Shroud of Torin shows that the, I'm sorry, the Muraturian fragment, that's what I meant to say, shows that the biblical canon was established before the first council of Nicaea. Mm. We have the... Um, sorry, what version of the Bible the, do you read, by the way? I mean, I I mean, I mean, read the King James Bible you read because the King of... James wait, version. because, I wait, but it. wait. I knew you were a King James reader. You. I knew Let it. me correct I knew you. you because were a King James of reader. Demon Mama. Because of the Strong's Concordance, mm. and I also use other yeah, versions. Yeah, yeah. I also Here use we other go. versions. This is this is what we call this is what we call desperation. You are trying to say that your King James version, made by King James, who no, was the I don't one think it's the, the I didn't a say man, that. I, you are man, just finishing. You me. are finishing my words. For no, me. hold on a second. Because I'm, you I'm, think no, you because, call no, me no, arrogant, so then you finish my statements for me mm. because I was raised in a cult. So I know so much more about God and you. I know so much more. I do know What's more so about special it. about it's, it's yours? It's actually clear. It's actually obvious. It's blatantly obvious to anyone watching this that you don't actually know what you're talking about. Blatantly because, obvious. Yes, it is blatantly obvious. The English. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think English was your strong suit. But to, to get this straightforward, okay, mm -hmm. sure. I'm trying to present the scientific evidence that I put forth. The so and sorry, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Before we get any further, the scientific evidence that you say mm -hmm. that because that because Jesus is you claim to be the son of God. I didn't say that was a part of science. You did. I didn't you I didn't wait, ever say that was a part of yes, science. Yes, you fucking did. No, I yeah. said I believe that and science does not require belief. Mhm. Mm My goodness. You're so just wait, then. you're some I said I believe that Christ is you son of God. You literally just a couple of seconds ago said that you have up, that you have empirical evidence of that your faith is correct. No, I'm saying the empirical evidence supports the faith. No, it does not. I would I'm sorry, it. the empirical evidence does not support that. I would love to see what empirical evidence you have, but this is a stupid argument because you will come up with all kinds of stupid reasons for why why you think that there is empirical evidence that Jesus Christ actually ra flew to, flew to flew up into the sky and that Jesus Christ was actually the 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 word of God mm, because yeah, you I'm can't sorry. actually Right, tolerate. we don't have li we, Wait, we don't have yeah. live tweets, we don't have, you know, uh, TikTok videos of it. Oh yeah, Ridiculous. totally. Yeah, I that know. was that would that would totally well, anyway. Mm -hmm. Back to this, I'm wondering if um, what types of illustrated pornography should be banned, or do you think all of it should be allowed? I mean, I don't know. It's a drawing. Who cares? Hmm. Thanks. That and that says everything I need to know. And okay. if you, I know you're clearly against racism, but what do you think about racial fetishization? Oh, I mean, Someone I who fetishizes a... certain aspects. Oh of yeah, race. I mean, I think uh, I think that's pretty problematic and weird. But hey, guess what? I mean, I had an ex who was into that. And she you was, think that's she was... problematic and weird? Yeah, it's problematic. It's kind of problematic and weird. That's not my thing. But whatever. As it's, long as you do it, as long as you I, do it consensually, that's fine.
I had an ex, I had an ex who like really was super, super, like really, like I'm not kidding you. I had an ex who was very, very dark skinned. And by the way, like she literally asked me, like she would literally ask me, oh, you should do, you should say this word to me, that word to me. I'm like, oh, okay, if you want to. So okay. what kind of example, like, okay. so the sure. way they would talk to you, that's how they were? Did they want to be treated? Like, I don't know. No, no, no. Like, how is like, that? In like a sexual, in like a, you know, you have like a, are you familiar with the concept of like a scene? You know, like in kink, like where you, you, at, you do a certain role play, you know, like for example, um, they would want to role play a racial oh, yeah, stereotype. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, totally. It's fucking weird, but Hey, whatever. That's what she liked. Hey, but whatever. Yeah. I mean, that's what she liked. Whatever. So as long as, okay. Yeah, sure. So something that's, you know, morally abhorrent as you claim racism, uh, I mean, if it racism, has a sexual, wait, wait a as a long as it has a no, sexual no, 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 veneer, no, no, no. now don't it's be, okay. Don't be, don't be Put stupid. Put the sexual Excuse me. Excuse blanket me. over Excuse it. Me. Now it's fine. No, you're, you're fucking, you're being fucking stupid. You don't, I'm you don't being say, like you, demon. No, mama. you're not. You're, you, you wish you were like me. Oh my God. You wish you could live like me. I know you do, but you don't. And you're not. Now let's be, let's be clear about this. Racism is not the same thing as somebody having a racial role-playing kink. It's not the same thing. Racism is when you fucking systemically discriminate against somebody or when you individually discriminate against somebody for, for their race. If you so the, a, where are the ideas you, no, 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 for these on, scenes I'm coming I'm not done from. with my sentence. Hold on a second. If a person has a kink where they like, I mean, for example, um, I mean, I can't say this, this word on stream, but I, oh man, I fucking love it when people call me the F slur in a consensual manner. When my partner, when my, when I'm like, when I'm like banging my partner and my partner just calls me a fucking filthy you know, F slur. Oh God, that's so, that's so hot. That's super hot. But I would never want some random person on the street to call me that. And so you the want sexual to know why? context is what makes it okay. No, the, con the consent is what makes it okay. Yeah. The consent. consent. Yes. The consent. Me saying, yes, this is okay. I trust you to do this thing. That's what makes it okay. Absolutely. Of course it does. Hmm. Absolutely. So as long Obviously. as, yeah. So as long as the day comes where we're, the society is convinced that minors can consent and animals can consent, I'm not saying society is can, you will. I, no. That's society, fucking, I don't care about you. As long as we're, you talked earlier about furry rights. It's all yeah, about changing course. everyone's worldview. So as long as the world, the, the society's worldview Are you changes on the wait, idea on that a you're, child you're, and wait, an animal me. can consent, <clears throat> then bestiality and hold that other. Dude, you're getting way ahead of yourself right here, and you're actually telling on yourself. You're actually like super telling on yourself. Are you telling me that you want a world where you can fuck children? Where I want? Excuse me, I'm asking you. No, no, no. You just if said that you just said, changes. Then yeah, it would be okay because your no, fault from his okay. consent. Absolutely, no, I don't know how on earth you extrapolated that I no. would want that. You talk about a self freak. report. Talk about a self report, my dude. Man, that that fucking that fucking child child molestation shit runs really strong among Christians. I fucking hate it. It was one of my biggest criticisms of Christians was that even though they talk a big game, they always end up fucking children in the Consistently, background. Consistently, this entire conversation, everything you have flung at me applies to you. You've called me arrogant. You've said I've self reported. Yet you are self talking about consent being the only thing that matters. You're I'm saying, saying that being called an F slur and, saying that and it racism is. is fine as long as it has a consenting con yep. uh, concept. Oh, oh context. wait, hold on a second. Let so me then be, I wait, say, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Stop talking for a second. Stop talking for a second. Let me be 100% clear with you. Consent is not the only thing that matters, but for things, for, for certain, for certain things, consent is all that matters. For example, what I am called, that is a matter of consent. There you go. That's simple. If I consent to being called a a, a fucking queer, a, a filthy slut or whatever, or my partner wants that, that's perfectly fine. I think that's totally fine. Yep, 100%. Right, so you, but right, guess so what? Your highest... No, no, let's continue mm -hmm. because you've made a couple of different claims here. Um, and let's point out the other one. Do I think that a society that says that children can consent would make that okay? No, I don't because I don't think they can consent. And I think there's reasons you can show that they can't consent. So even if a society claimed that they could, I would not believe them. And the reason that I would believe them, that I would not believe them, is because there is evidence to the contrary. It is not the societal, the societal agreement that makes that thing so. It is the actual consent. A child can't consent. They can't. They can't consent to that sort of thing. You can't consent. And that's to why I'm. This is yeah. why I'm talking about your highest standard being consent, and I'm contesting that because I'm well, telling you're, you it's you're fickle. Failing. It can change over time. So even yeah, though you what? yourself and will never wait, change, wait, wait, what do you society mean by itself that? will. Wait, what do you mean by that? Because society can you explain can what you mean by that? That doesn't even make any sense. What doesn't make sense about what I said? That the idea that that that, that somehow s consent can change. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? The definition of consent can change. It has over time. What? 
No, it has not. When has the definition yes, is. of consent? The, the age defini- of con- isn't the age of consent changed? No, 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 over no, no, time? no. Like- I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Age of consent is not the same thing as consent. Those are two completely okay, the different sta- things. Okay, maybe not the literal definition. The God, this circumstances is so surrounding it. I, oh, you want to you want to say that this is strange because I'm asking you details about. I mean, your sounds, highest what standard. What it sounds to me like is what like, I do I is know. I ask you details about what you believe, and you just go, "Oh, this is weird. You're outing yourself." Oh, I mean, this you is are kind of outing strange. yourself. It's very, very weird. Yeah, I mean, you know, the Bible is like fucking full. Aren't of you child. talking wait, about wait, children sorry, sorry. at Pride Parade, and you're telling me I'm outing myself? Wait, wait. Children at a pride parade? Yeah, there's no problem. Yes. With chil- there's no problem with. Children yeah, you're telling parade. me I'm outing myself because yes. I'm asking yes, you, you where yes, is you this are. going. Yes, you And are. you're telling me that, that I'm outing. Wait, myself. wait. Can you explain something to me, real quick? Real quick. Can you explain to me what's wrong with a child at a pride parade? Well, I mean, I believe that the exposure wah, of pornography wah. to children wait, is wait, wait, evil. Hold on a second. Wait a second. Hold on a second. Real quick. Real quick question. When was the last pride parade that you went to that had pornography on display? I don't yeah. attend pride yeah, parades, and I you believe don't. You don't know, you're talking out your ass. You know what that is? The portrayal of sexual subject matters for the exclusive no, purpose of sexual you. arousal oh, is pornography, here comes and mute. a pride it's parade coming. is a. There's the mute. Okay, so you can calm down, and I'll unmute you. But you have done something that I would like to point out here. Okay. And we're going to point this out while you're on mute, and then I'll unmute you and give you an opportunity to behave. Okay? But you just lied. What you did is a sin. And God knows that you're lying because you've never been to Pride. You don't even know if there is porn at Pride, but you claimed there was to use it against gay people. That is a lie. That is a manipulation. That is deceit. I will unmute you now. There we go. I did not lie because I do not have to attend a pride parade to know what its subject matter oh, and uh, images from it. Interesting. To like to see it on. Oh, display. really? When was the last now, time you saw porn? Pornography being is defined. Pornography is defined as the portrayal of sexual subject matter for the exclusive purpose of sexual mm-hmm. arousal. Damn. Now, pride parade is for sexual expression. That this is, I mean, is that not what a pride parade is? It is not, that is not, it is not what pride is about. And it shows that you're just woefully inexperienced in what you're talking about. And you've, you should. I mean, I've seen images I, of men should, dressed as the son of God, making out in the cross, draped in a rainbow. Fuck yeah. What's right? wrong with that? What is that? Wait, what's wrong with that? What's what wrong is with wrong that? with that? Yeah. What's wrong with, what's Please. wrong with, what's wrong with two guys making out? Tell me, have... demon mama. Tell yeah. me the, tell me the virtues of taking the symbol that God gave to Noah. I don't know if you know this because you claim you've read the Bible like oh, 15 times. Oh, yes, of course times. I know this. Yeah, I will what? tell you that, yeah. But yeah, the symbol that, that God gave- You stole gave that from the Jews, the... by the way. You're stealing that from the Jews. That's not yours to take. That's Jews. The Jew, That's the Torah. You don't get to steal their fucking culture, you, you clown. Don't steal from God's people. Jesus Christ. We already went over who's God's people are. And yeah, it's not yeah, guess what? It's not you. Race. Because, but I thought you would have known that having read the Bible like what, oh, 15 I read the times? Bible. I've read the Bible have, four mm-hmm, times yeah, through. Thank you. Times, yeah. but yes, Clearly your reading times. comprehension isn't matched up to your, yeah. you know, So you say, standard, so you but... say, but I'm, I'm well, still Well, tell me how to... I'm more, no, please tell me how I'm blatantly obvious, yeah, how blatantly obvious I am wrong. You are. Right. It's but, super, this has, I, been, this has been an absolute cakewalk. You've presented basically no arguments. You've just basically whined and, and, and attempted really, to Really? Because you've sort of called me arrogant. You've muted me. You've called me a bitch. You've yeah. gone wait, all, wait, all around wait, wait, and you're you calling this to... a cakewalk? Please me mute me again? again. Mute me again, demon mom, and talk about how much of a cakewalk this on, is. Do it. Everyone will believe you. Yeah, Everyone will believe what a cakewalk it is. Do it. Do it. Please. Yeah, hold on a second. Even kick me. Do it. Kick me. Kick me. And go back to your girlfriend and do weird racial... Uh, what is oh, it? Sorry, that was my ex. Excuse Racist me. sex play. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it was, it was, you know, it was, I mean, honestly, I'll be completely honest. At the time, it was kind of nice, but I, I did find it a little weird. But we had a good time with it. She had a fucking great time with it. I mean, she came really hard. Well, I'm telling you, there's some people who think having, oh, you know, how your standard was just a little weird. Uh-huh. There are other people that are fighting to change that definition to make it for animals. To make it for, and you are against the yeah. photographic yeah. depiction. Yeah, do you want to know? Wait, wait, do you want to know? But the yet, wait, wait, stop. Drawn stop, depictions stop, of children. Stop. Draw, oh yeah, you don't want to hear your own points no, no, recited no, to you because no, they're no, disturbing. No, this is, I know. This is fucking but stupid. illustrations wait, of sexualized wait, this is fucking illustrations stupid. of bestiality are fine for you. Wait, wait, hold on. So a I'm telling you, you're one hair's length away mm-hmm. from photographic depictions of this with the only hair being consent. What? You, you literally, you are speaking nonsense. Do you want to know what the difference between my partner literally asking me to do something slightly weird is and an animal? 
Oh, I'm part... being so literally wait, wait, blatantly wait. obvious. Yes, you're being I'm so... being so literally blatantly you're being obvious. Fucking right now. stupidly, stupidly transparent that you have no idea what you're talking about. And I'm going to show. I'm going to show you how how fucking dumb you sound right now. Tell me because how literally do you want dumb to know I it? sound. Yes, like, you sound very you know, dumb. You sound very dumb. Okay. Are you? Are you? Do you want me to say that again? I'm ready you, for my ignorance better? to be made yeah. blatantly obvious. Do you want to know what the now? difference? Please do you want to know what the it? difference is between me uh, fucking my girlfriend the way that she wants to be fucked, and and you fucking a child is? Do you want to know what the difference is? My girlfriend can consent. That's the difference. Yeah, That's you're the telling fucking difference. I'm outing myself. You're yes. talking. You're in your mind. You don't see a difference between like, that. You think. You think that that a person. You you. But according to your morality, you think that you fucking a child is exactly the same. No, thing. No, according to your morality, it's consent. No, that's yeah, the problem. That's, what, that's the difference. A child yeah, can't and I'm telling consent. you, you, a child can't. Child then I'm can't telling consent. you, yeah. what happens if society is taught that child children I can I don't give consent? a shit what society says. I look really because rights. You define rights as all of what society thinks. No, I didn't. You see how your that. own. Well, I didn't yes, you said I, I don't. Believe, I don't care about legality. I don't care about law. Yes, Furry I don't. Rights are yes, like, I don't care know, about society that. needs to think I, a certain I, I way. I believe. I believe within I be your own context. Stop! Stop! You're asking me questions and then you're blab blabbering over it. This is why I muted you. The reason why I muted you is not because of of because of anything else besides that you just talk when you ask. You'll ask me a question or you'll make a claim that's blatantly false and then you'll continue to talk. I think you really like to hear the sound of your own voice. And the reason why I know that is because I love to hear the sound of my own voice. Um, and so I know. I can see it when, when somebody else is doing the same thing. Um, and uh, it's really funny to me because um, that's why I muted you because I can't actually have a conversation. And interestingly, what I said at the very beginning of this conversation, you didn't listen to. I think that rights are an instrumental way to improve rightfully the well-being of people who don't deserve to be treated poorly, people who don't deserve to have gas attacks directed against them and be bullied and be made fun of for doing nothing that harms anyone. You seem to think otherwise. I don't think that rights are the final be-all and end-all. I think there are things that are more important than rights. However, of course I would fight for furry rights because we live in a, we live in a world full of states. And what I would like to do is getting them rights would afford them a better life. It's an instrument to a final goal. The final goal being equitab equitability for everyone. Do you understand that? Uh, can I talk now? Um, or uh, you didn't mute me. Okay. I no, I didn't. Of course sure I didn't mute that. you. I didn't need but to. I do you find actually... it interesting that you said you, you said, I love hearing my own voice and you said it's yeah. because you yourself like hearing. And again, you did it again. Projection. Ooh, There's been a lot of it. that this entire, Wait, this it's entire. Not, it's not, that's not night. projection. That's, that is, that is calling it. No, as but the claims, that, is, you no, but the claims no that you've been making to me actually apply to you. That has been consistent our entire conversation. Good one. Uh, and I I'm, think that's yeah, glad yeah, that I'm, you self-admitted it. I'm, I'm glad I'm you admitted rubber, it yourself. I'm rubber and you're glue. What, what, what you say to me bounces off me and sticks to you. Good job. You did it, dude. You yourself admitted that. Um, wait, I admitted. I just, wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. I'm yes. sorry. I admitted that I like to hear my own voice as a as a. No, you yes, said I that do. I like yeah, to hear. Yeah, my own I know. Voice. Yeah, you do. I I'm, don't. I'm, yeah, I do. I don't. But then you admitted the reason why you said that wait, is because wait, wait. of yourself. Yeah, because you know? I because you, you know, also you know, said wait, wait, I'm on, arrogant, on and I'm going to go and say and say you're dude, also dude, arrogant. Dude, dude, hold on. You say I'm outing myself. I'm going to go and say you're actually outing yourself. Wait, wait, hold on a second. Real quick, real quick. What have I outed myself on? That you believe consent is the highest standard by which morality should be governed. No, and I, think I never, that is I never said that it's the highest, but I think that it's pretty fucking up there. I think consent is really goddamn important. Absolutely. Yeah. I, Are you fucking kidding me? And this is the this is the wait, point of see, contention. This is the problem. Wait, this is, this the, is the wait, wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. You're doing it again. You're doing it again. You make a statement, and then you go off on some random tear when I try to respond to whatever statement that you made. Yes, I think consent is crazy fucking important. We we use this for. Uh, Absolutely. We are agents. We are individual beings. What we consent to have being done to us is incredibly motherfucking morally important. See, this is the problem I have with Christians. Christians throw away the importance of, of consent, and then they instrumentalize children. They instrumentalize disabled people. They instrumentalize disempowered people, impoverished people, because you don't give a fuck about consent. You see people as pawns in God's game. And this is why I'm demon mama, because I don't see people as pawns in God's game. Unlike I have you. no idea what you're talking about, but you know, please rant incoherently about Christians. Not, air hold on, real quick. Do you think that? Let's and, ask. You do know, want, do put me, me under that John? umbrella. Yeah, you are a Christian. You said you were a Christian when you came in here. Yeah, but your and, definition and so of Christian far, doesn't even so come. Like your definition of God's people isn't even close to mine. Well, I don't know. And if you want well, to get damn, you know, that's all shame. these these definitions come, right? 
Mm -hmm. That's why I'm already Sorry, did you just you say know, kind of confused who you're even talking to right now. You're just, saying you like to use people, like disabled yeah, you people. Do. Yeah, I don't yeah, even know yeah, what yeah. you're going Christians on. Christians love to do that shit. But please Christians, tell me how I go on. No, weird, here's what Christians you know, like diatribes, to do. It's interesting. Watch, diatribes. watch. Here, I'm, I'm going to explain. I'm going to explain very straightforward. So that the, I know you will deny this, but the audience, everybody who's listening right now is going to understand exactly what I'm saying. Okay? This is what you like to do. You Christians like to remove consent from the equation because then it lets you decide what you get to decide that what matters more is what God says, and you decide what God says. So it's convenient that you remove consent from the equation because that lets you skip a little step and you go, well, God says what I think is correct, and this is where I, I'm going to find some random justification for it in the Bible that doesn't necessarily make sense or could be interpreted differently, but I have a unique personal connection with God, and therefore, oh shit, I'm interpreting God's word, and I don't care about consent. You have to do what God wants. And see, it's a really, it's a really sinister and sneaky way of going about basically imposing your will by pretending that you are the arbiter of what God says and wants, and you don't give a shit about consent. So you can do whatever the fuck you want to anybody as long as you think God wants you to do it. And I think that's sick. I'm glad you described the majority of so-called professed Christians, but I'm a Seventh-day Adventist Christian. I Oof. firmly hold to the separation Oof. of church and state. We do not, in, like, what happens is a new religion has violated the First Amendment. You know, Congress oh, okay. shall pass no law what, what, that what honors any religion, but what the new this? religion is called humanism, which is completely what are you talking violated about? the What does this have to do with anything we've These, talked about? This does. This does. What because you're claiming that I want to impose my yeah, interpretation do, wait, of God's that. will on other people. I yes. do not. Yes, you I'm do. not in politics. I'm not a politician. Right you're, I'm not a interested. You're, I don't do to seven hour political streams <clears throat> telling people <clears throat> how they need Excuse to live. Me. I never tell people how they need to live. Actually, that's not true. Let me, let me, I will confess that I do tell one, people one way to live, and that is don't die. That's the one thing that I've ever told anyone how to live. Otherwise, I make arguments for what I think are good positions, and people can mm -hmm. contest. I spend many You make hours. arguments Excuse about people me, who are not I'm here. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. I make arguments with people who come on all day. I've been doing it all day. I'm doing it right now. People come in and contend with my arguments, and my arguments either hold strong and prove true, or they don't. And then I amend my positions by being proven wrong. Fortunately, I don't get proven wrong very often because, well, I do my research. That helps. Yeah, and uh, what yeah. I've been trying to prove is that mm -hmm. there is a negative impact from pornography. And um, it completely, let's forget Zillman. No, forget that. Zillman and Brian. I'm using another. So sure. the Harvard urology professor, Dr. Morgan Teller, said it's hard to know exactly how many young men are suffering from porn induced erectile dysfunction, but it's okay. clear that it's a new phenomenon and it's not rare. And what we're seeing from both studies coming out of Harvard and Stanford University within the last uh, decade, that there's this new phenomenon of like uh, erectile dysfunction that is occurring in young people uh -huh. and also in certain respects caused exclusively by internet pornography. And ah, the many wait, wait, wait old a second. Hold on. You've made a jump science that is You've made a jump. How do you prove that it's made caused exclusively by internet pornography? Because old studies on pornography mm. have used cassette tapes, magazines, and uh, you know just outdated forms of pornography. But the new research has shown that the novelty, the exploratory aspect of the internet, there yeah. in the book it talks about how there are Pornhub compilation videos mm. that actually take highlights from several pornography videos oh, damn, and put them into sick. one. Uh, and great. this is this is never this didn't exist. Have you enjoyed a few of those in your ten time? years ago? This didn't yeah, exist twenty years great. ago. You know what else didn't and exist? You know what else didn't exist? Ten, fifteen, years ago. You know what ago. you're saying on, wait, has wait, wait, nothing wait. to do with wait, what we're talking Watch this. About right yes, now. oh, it absolutely does. Do you believe? I can't wait. Wait, wait. I know for a fact because I know that study, and I know for a fact that it does. You no, know Dr. Morgan Teller personally. You have him on the phone line. No, I don't. But I know what study you're talking about, and I know that it does not claim mm -hmm. that it is exclusively internet po pornography that does this and in fact that would be if it did so that would be a flawed study that would be very very because it doesn't support no your incorrect okay. incorrect because that is not how science works that is mm -hmm. not what science i know science does. doesn't deal in absolutes i agree with you completely uh, i'm just saying a majority uh, of the me. new was, research are from... you are you seriously incapable of of like actually allowing me to finish a sentence it's very funny so why don't you stop for a second that is not how science works. One study does not determine exclusive exclusivity of anything. That is not how science has ever worked. It will never work that way. So when you make a claim like this, this study proved that it was exclusively internet, that is impossible to do. You cannot, and I, you cannot. I didn't quote any study. Excuse me. 
You cannot. You just stated that. We can rewind the video. You literally you know, just stated it. It wasn't a study. I said a Harvard urology professor, Dr. Oh, Dr. Oh, Morgan. That's, said that, that, in a that's lecture. Even it's not a study. Ooh, ooh. It's just something that he's saying. Oh, that's even better. Oh, are you annoyed that I'm getting pedantic now, team and no, mama? No, 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 that's fantastic. Are you getting annoyed no, 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 that I'm no, no, getting... I'm not annoyed at all. I'm actually very happy that you brought that up because that's even worse. That's even worse for you. Just some random professor saying that he thinks it's internet porn means nothing. That is irrelevant. So what? Anybody can say anything. Jordan Peterson says fucking unscientific bullshit constantly about dragons of chaos and all meat diets. Just because he's just because he's some scientist doesn't mean he knows anything. And if you knew anything about science, as many of my audience does and as I do, you know that first of all, a scientist's opinion is not relevant at all to uh to the actual science. Their opinion, in fact, can can fuck up their ability to do science well. Secondly, that a single study never proves a final conclusion. It can only indicate where you need to study next to find further truth. And third, okay, okay. you would so know if that I, a doctor, let's, let's... That, no, excuse me, I'm not done, that a scientist does not necessarily is, and is not and should not be uh, treated with respect when they make claims outside of their area of expertise. So with all due respect, the, uh, the urologist is mm -hmm. not necessarily talking uh, about erectile dysfunction yeah mm -hmm. yeah but guess what but you mm -hmm. know what else is in, in, in part of that erectile dysfunction has causes and those have intersections with other professions for example there are psychological reasons for erectile dysfunction there are um there are chemical reasons for erectile dysfunction do you want to know another interesting little tidbit you ready you ready for an interesting tidbit hello you there Am I muted? No, you're no, not muted. No, could please continue. Continue. Yeah, absolutely. Are you are you prepared? Okay, here we go. Do Do you know that um that the adolescent um the adolescent uh depression rates have skyrocketed over the last couple of decades? The last, I believe, twenty years have skyrocketed by un unbelievable levels, and that they are often prescribed antidepressants. Do you know what antidepressants do? You don't. Interesting antidepressants the most common form of antidepressant by a long shot is a ssri a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor ssris frequently have a side effect of causing erectile dysfunction now it's not a permanent thing if you stop taking the antidepressant it will usually clear up pretty quickly and there are other medications you can take that counteract that effect but a lot of people a lot of young people teenagers 20 year olds are are currently at increasing numbers on medications on for long periods of time that can cause erectile dysfunction okay That's so demon mama you say important. science doesn't work that you, you don't you can't yeah. you know take the respected harvard uh what is it harvard yeah. urology professor's yeah. word so i'm not going to take a seven I mean, hour um, i'm sorry political I don't podcast you... opinion very oh, yeah. seriously you don't have so to. i'd like to switch you don't have to. i'd like to switch the gears and <laughs> yeah, i've provided no i provided some of the would. i would Pivot like to away, ask buddy. for the pause no 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 no, no. Pivot, i'd like pivot. to because is we're not getting anywhere mm -hmm. when i try to point out the negatives uh the, the science that supports the negative impacts of mm -hmm. pornography so i'd like to ask you I mean, what you are the positive impacts of pornography oh there's tons okay first of all first of all tons of people get to have real fucking good comes that's awesome i think that's a fucking great thing i think it's great if you have a good come um, so that's a pretty good one. Uh, people get to express themselves. People get to make money uh, doing something that they like. And sometimes to so some people, I mean, there is some ethical issues in porn, but that's neither here nor there. That's a different political issue that we can discuss. And I discuss relatively frequently, actually. I had a discussion very recently with a sex worker. We talked about some of the issues within the porn industry that are problematic, which can be fixed by changing the industry. Fucking great. Um, yeah, there's a fucking tons of, tons of good stuff. You get to see lots of different types of bodies. Um, you get to, I don't know, sometimes you meet a cool person. It's pretty cool. Yeah, there's a lot of good things from porn. There's so many things like come and money. Yeah, coming is wait. You, and, you do realize um, that that's like very yeah. important, right? That like humans like like to come. Like we're bi biologically driven to do sex. Well, I want to take you seriously, but I'm using your definition of science, and I you know science doesn't work that way. I don't take political podcasters very seriously. Well, you asked me, wait, just like I don't take wait. Harvard urology professors oh, seriously. Hold, hold on so a second, when you're buddy. talking about hold on like a second, buddy. coming and funny. making money. I'm confused why that's a benefit. Oh, wait, you asked me. Wait, hold on a second. Um, um, you asked me for my opinion on why I think porn is good. And I gave yeah, you. No, I'm opinion. saying like, what is wait, a. You're, a, you're like, so offended. I've you shown think... you clear. No, I've shown you clear uh, societal impact, no, you have negative not. impacts. No, you have not. 
You've talked no, you about anecdotes of no, a you, sex you, worker you interviewed you, you coming, maybe meeting some good people, maybe oh, yeah, making yeah. some money. Hell yeah. Uh, there's some ethical concerns, but oh, let's sweep that under the rug. I didn't sweep uh, it but, under you the know, rug. That, excuse and me, I'm I just didn't, confused. I didn't, excuse me. I didn't sweep that under the rug. I literally addressed it directly. That's not a rug sweep. You're failing. This is embarrassing. Mm. You're embarrassing your God. Now tell me, tell me how uh, embarrassing and arrogant. And then after you mute me, Maybe you can uh, tell the audience you. how Wait, badly I'm losing. I mean, I can mute you again if you want to keep talking, but you keep saying that. I muted you because you were acting like a child. You just literally kept talking after asking me a question. And when I tried to respond, you were talking over me. That's why I muted you. I haven't muted you since then because you've been being a good little boy. Mm. Okay, well, I'm glad you literally showed everyone my blatantly obvious ignorance. I did. I the actually subject really, really of did. the impacts of pornography. You, you quoted. While you, you yourself put me. forth excuse the benefits me. of pornography you being quoted. coming, cummies, money, and yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, there are social benefits to porn. There are There is fun benefits to porn. There are artistic benefits to porn. There are it's all fun. kinds of them. Yeah, it's fun as fuck. You yeah, should publish a paper on that. Oh, you I mean. You should publish a paper. Good, How good would you quantify fun? Have. Yeah. How would you would you quantify the number of times you came? Because right. I think what is it, really Doctor, um, the the creator of the Kinsey scale in his book, The Human Sexuality of the Male, he quantified how many males. Right. Okay. So maybe that's a great metric. You should you should look into it, Demon. What does this have Anyone to do with can become a scientist sorry, these sorry, days. What is this? Sorry, I'm, I'm I'm sorry. What does this have to do with anything? Because you're talking about science. Meanwhile, you're saying cummies and money are the most no, important. I'm, no, metric. no, no. Excuse me. Excuse me. That is literally not what I said. You brought up. You brought up. You cited two studies, and I pointed out that you were lying about what the studies actually say. That you were you were. I taking, read verbatim. Excuse from the me, I'm not section. done talking. You're doing it again. You're literally doing it again. You brought up two studies in which you made sweeping conclusions that neither of those studies actually said. Neither of those studies. Claim, made the claims that you said that they did. You jumped to those conclusions because you're a charlatan who's attempting to pass off studies that happen to agree with you as as some sort of fact to justify your religious opinion. That is charlatan behavior. That is manipulative. And I pointed that out. And you have spent most of this conversation being very mad that I accurately pointed out that that's what you're doing. And then you what asked, I've done is and then, presented I'm evidence not done. in support of I'm my view. I'm not done yet. You need to wait your turn, okay? You then asked me for my opinion as to why I think porn is good, and I gave you a couple of reasons as to why I think that porn is good, and then you got mad that I wasn't cynically utilizing um, science the way that you were. Do you know how phenomenally stupid that sounds and looks like? Yeah, that I is, agree. It does. Yeah, it yeah. does look pretty bad for you because uh, oh, I mean, I'm, I'm trying universal. to explain. Uno I'm trying universal. to explain to you. Here is two like just empirical evidence, and and you have contorted that, that into an absolute That is not what empirical claim. evidence means. The only absolutes that I deal with are with my means. religion, but the science that I put forth is evidence in support no, of the morality not. that's put forth. No, it, it is it. not. Well, that is that is not how yeah, science so, works. Uh, but wait, wait, you stop, had your stop, opportunity. Stop, 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 you stop, had the stop, opportunity. Stop, stop, stop. That is not how science works. You're doing it again. You are trying mm -hmm. to claim that these that these studies that were oh, done. Oh, but science works when a political podcaster links SSRIs to erectile dysfunction. What? Isn't that what you just did? Do you want like do you want me to cite the studies that do that? Do you not believe me? I'm sorry. Do you wait? Hold on. No, wait, I'm wait, wait, trying wait, wait, to work on, within your hold confines, demon. No, no, no. Mama. Hold on a second. Let me ask you something. Do you are you contesting the claim that SSRIs cause erectile dysfunction? Yes or no? No, I'm that using is, your is, definition wait, 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 of science. Stop. Stop. This is a yes science or no doesn't question. work that way. This is a yes or no question. I, do you, I don't know. Are you contesting? I don't know. I don't. I'm not. I okay. haven't looked into the science. I, I think I don't you know. should. I would challenge anybody who doesn't believe my claim on that to please, please investigate that. I will I will show you that not only has this been studied across literally thousands of studies, it's literally printed on the medication itself. I okay, can go great. right so out I can go everyone, right out into the other room and I can grab my antidepressants and I could show you that that's a side effect of that. You medication. take antidepressants? Oh, absolutely. Totally. Well, uh, just so for everyone in the audience, you have some homework, you know, look up that link. I, for my homework, look, for your oh, audience, I recommend oh, oh, looking oh, up oh, Hold on. We already did it. Look at that. They've already done the homework. There are multiple links in chat right there talking about the side effects. Super easy. Fantastic. So great. great. Now, uh, now what? Now, I don't wait, have... now, 
Now, wait, what were you going to mm -hmm. say about that? See, this is the problem with you. You have a night, you have this little quippy study that you can come in and you can go, oh, this thing, this thing says that God is real. I mean, and by saying God is real, I mean, it says something, it, 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 it indicates a correlation between people watching porn one time and watching an extreme porn another time. It doesn't actually make any considerations for whether or not those people were already into weird porn before they came to the clinic, before they were studied for this, because the study didn't do that. You try to utilize and instrumentalize study that was done to talk about something else and in order to make some moral claim that's so fucking weird and that is what also, i did was also, quoted also, to what i did was illogical. quoted let me, demon Rama, you had your chance to contort what happened so let me actually explain yeah, what happened i quoted two studies from the book your brain mm -hmm. on porn by psychologist and neurochemist researcher gary wilson oh, an atheist cool. nice. who has no religious leanings whatsoever. i don't care uh, and i, I recommend for the do. audience for as you quickly do. as you looked up the studies on please do what is it the Look link between the ssri and you please it's a free pdf as uh, at least wait, wait, hold on a second. Wait a second. Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Gary Wilson is a fucking preacher. Is that true? Have you been lying this whole time? Oh my God. If that's true, I, wait. please no. Look it up. Please tell me. Gary Wilson is, is a preacher. Oh my God. Hold on a Gary second. Gary Wilson from Can your I... brain on porn is a preacher. Let's see. Let's, see. Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's find out. Maybe. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Let's find out here. Hmm. Interesting. Got a Oh, because I'm just going to quote from his book because then he's lying in his book. I'll, oh, I'll, I'll I mean, read you the quote from the book, but books. one moment. See, see the, the very interesting thing is that people lie in books all the time. People lie in books all the motherfucking time. And this is why we have smarter ways of coming to truth than just quoting random people who happen to agree with you and saying, this guy's a doctor mm -hmm. and he agrees with me. That means God is right. real and The scientific is studies, the scientific studies, right? That, but, oh no, something. but you, the, the scientific, and then the no, books see, I see, oh no, the people no, lying. No, 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 but no, in no, the wait, books that wait, you wait, choose, wait, wait, oh no, they're telling apps. Wait, what book yeah, did I okay. choose? What book did I choose? And by the way, what scientific wait, study stop, did I prove that God is real? Stop, 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 Look at just the disingenuous, absolute twisting. Holy shit, this is so embarrassing. What book did I actually, did I, did I cite? I mean, I'm talking about oh, your position. Oh, you're full of shit. What do you mean? What do you I'm saying you're the, literally the full definition. Of shit. You sign no. You said science doesn't work this way. Yeah, it doesn't. And it then doesn't. you then you that's then not quotes, how science uh, works. Yeah. You don't. Science doesn't work by you taking a random study that you think agrees with you and you mm -hmm. and you saying this thing, uh, this thing, this this study that shows I said, this thing wait, wait, shows evidence Stop. in support of that. Stop. You contorted I was that into I, I made an absolute talking. claim. Okay, I'm muting you again. I'm gonna mute you again. Do you want me to mute you again? You're doing it again. I, you're literally talking if you're gonna while keep I'm trying twisting, to If you're going to okay. keep twisting my words, right, you'll have to it. mute me. Demon we're doing Mama. it. You are muted. Damn, this is easy. See, when you're, a rude, when you're a rude person and you don't allow me to talk, then you get muted. Super simple. All right? So here's the thing. You came in with a study that revealed evidence of one very specific thing. And this is how studies in science actually work. In science, studies are designed to try and illustrate a single thing. And you have to do multiple studies and put those together to reveal large truths. So what you did is you brought a study that showed that some group of people, a group of like, I think on here it said, uh, I don't remember the exact number. I could bring it up in a minute. A group of people were studied. And at first, that group of people was showed porn. And then two weeks later, they chose a different type of porn. That was what was revealed. That in and of itself does not support your claim that porn is making people stupid or bad or making them evil or, or, or into other things. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That is not how science works. Science is not, I found this study that, that, that I think agrees with me. Therefore, I'm going to use it as a little, like a little uh, coin in the basket. That's not how science works. And anybody who actually knows about science recognizes that that's not the purpose of science. The purpose of science is to reveal the truth, not to be weaponized by somebody like you to make claims that aren't being claimed. That study did not do what you claimed that it did. It still does not. Everybody can see that. So now I will unmute you because I'm done talking and now you can talk. There you go. Great. So you mute me when oh. I try to correct your misrepresentations of my claims. So one of the examples I quoted from this book, Your Brain on Porn, I would like to at least contest the claim that Gary Wilson is a preacher. That's ridiculous. I'm just going to read you verbatim from his book. He said, I grew up in a non-religious family in Seattle, the liberal Northwest. Live and let live was my motto. And what he found is when he started this website, uh, he was a scholar in psychology, he was interested in the long-term anatomy and physiology of, 
of neuroplasticity of brains. Okay, and he was, cool. you know, kind of shocked nice. at the complete lack of science that's been done on internet pornography. Oh, so damn. he just decided to do research into it. Okay, There's cool. no religious motivation whatsoever. Him being a preacher, that's if the chat, I don't have the channel. Maybe, maybe somebody know what in the saying. chat was wrong. I've been trying to, I've been trying to find some evidence of this, but uh, yeah, con congratulations. A guy has an opinion. You, you, you did it. You did it. A I mean, a guy the, has an opinion. You're you, wow. you make these claims. Wait, and what I'm sure claims? That they're wrong. And, what claims? Or, what or at least you latched on to a claim from the chat that. No, he was no. A I preacher. said let's look into it, and I've been looking it up right now, and you've been rambling off and going off on different things, and I've been trying to figure out whether it's. I've been true reading or not. verbatim from his book to show that's congratulations. Not true, but if you want to call you, that rambling? Wait, wait. You've you've done exactly what I said. You've shown that a man has an opinion. Congratulations. There are tons of I've shown that it has no religious. Uh, okay, you, but I don't The care. idea you've been wait, putting forth that this wait, is some stop, kind of stop, uh, stop, stop, religious please. crusade. For me, it is, but Gary Wilson, it is not. The I don't evidence care. I'm putting forth, none of these. That doesn't make, that doesn't change. Oh, you change. don't care. No, I don't so care. So we wait, began stop, this conversation stop, stop, with you uh, stop. shrieking about bias. Oh my God. And then I'm when I talk you about I'm bias. I'm muting you again. Here oh, we go. You mean, Yep, I've muted you again. This is so unbelievably stupid. You literally, every single time I try to say a sentence, you start talking again. This is one of the most ridiculous things. It's, it's, it's actually insufferable. But let me just explain what I'm saying. I don't care whether Gary Wilson is is religious or not. I don't care if he's an atheist. I don't care. Anybody can be wrong. And if you were actually genuinely engaging with science, you would know that any single dude's random opinion is is potentially subject to bias. Furthermore, his book where he talks about his opinions about the science doesn't actually make the science agree with him. Scientists regularly write books about their opinions, and those books are not necessarily science. Those are the opinions of a scientist, okay? I know that you're really struggling with understanding this concept, but I think everybody in the chat understands exactly what's going on here. Now, I would like to present you the opportunity to proceed with your argument because this has been an incredibly annoying tangent in which you continue to quote one book by one guy in, and, and, and then you say that it claims things that it doesn't. There you go. Simple as that. There we go. Thank you. Thank you for unmuting me. Dear You're Mama. welcome. You're unmuted uh, now. I'm very gracious. You, what you do, I'm super, so what super you've been gracious. doing is just been speaking in truisms. No, yes, I have not. people lie in books. Oh yes, some That's science so can sad. be used to misrepresent. Mm -hmm. th that it, you're talking truisms. These things always occur. That is not happening here. In this book, there are over 250 scientific citations from Harvard University, Stanford yeah, University, well, and others. Super cool. And I recommend the audience wow. please look up the book. Don't read his words. Go to the bibliography and look at the 270 please. plus scientific papers. Please do. I and would recommend come that to your everybody... own conclusions. Yes, Thank please. You. I agree. Just like um, you should, you should think for yourself. The you, the truth is out there. But yes, I agree. You should think for yourself. And if you are interested in the reading the book Your Brain on Porn, um, I would highly recommend going and reading it. And you will find out whether that guy's citations were accurate or incorrect. Do you want to know who else uses a lot of citations? You want to know? It's real easy. Ann Coulter. Ann Coulter is a political propagandist. Uses all kinds of citations. It's just that, again truisms. Yeah, again that's truisms. That's not. That's not a truism. What the fuck? People are you use about? citations that are wrong. Have you been on Wikipedia? People use citations that wait, are wrong. Wait, wait, hold on. People a write lies in books. Yes. Science doesn't work that way. Yes. Why don't you mute me yeah. and then misrepresent me for another ten minutes? Do you want me to? Would you like me to? I can. I could also like just stop this conversation because it's it's getting sad. You you all right there? I mean, no, it's your it's your show. I mean, yeah, you're able. I'm, I'm muting yes. myself. I don't want to offend you. That's why I have to periodically mute myself. You're not you're not gonna offend me. Like I'm very hard to offend. It's like super, oh well, I don't want you to mute. Basically, me. super. Sorry. Well, I mean, if you don't want to mute me, there's an easy solution. Don't talk while I'm talking. That's it's that simple. Yeah, it really. Okay, is. So okay, I can talk. Uh, 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 don't mute me. Don't sorry. Is this what you've? Uh, is this what you're at right now? Is this where your uh, argument is at? argument i mean i'm just <laughs> i'm having a great time demon mama this is this has been good um sure we we got a chance i've learned quite a bit about you oh really uh, like what you're into well racially i guess like racially charged kings no 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 that was my that was my ex are... get your get your facts straight that mm -hmm. was my ex who was into that i i am not but for the record i'm not particularly into that but my ex was and 
you know, I had a good time. You grew up in a Christian cult, so I did. Yes, that I did. your perception of Christianity has been colored by that. Um, no. um, well, I mean, yeah, you, a little bit. Yeah, I have sure. learned that people lie in books. That's true. That they science do. doesn't work that way. That's true. That citations that are used wrong. These are things I knew before I came on, oh, but they damn. were very good. You made them very blatantly obvious. Thank you. you. Literally showed me. Literally. Things. Literally, yeah. say literally one more time. You literally showed me. I'm all literally of these cringing right now in your yeah. conversation. I'm literally in, in cringing our conversation, right now. Yeah. and it was a great time. So I, I look forward to. I don't know if you'll ever have me on again. Um, um I mean, I don't really. I see, recommend. Wait, I don't really see why I would. Like you came on and you basically said a bunch of stupid things and then act a, acted gobsmacked when I was very apparent with my without when I was very clear with what opinions you asked and then you ran all over the place. You cited about a hundred times the book the the writer of a guy who wrote a book called Your Brain on Porn and I pointed out that one guy's opinion doesn't actually mean that porn is bad and then you cried for like an hour and a half and my chat laughed. That was basically. Oof, this is the reality you live in. That is painful. All Do you right. Think well, so? Do you thank think you. So? Wait, thank hold on, real quick. Thank you, quick. Demon Mama's wait, wait, chat. Wait, wait, wait. wait, hold on. I'm thank not you done with show. you. Hold on. Wait a second. Hold on a second. Do you want to know how many people are watching right now? Uh, I don't have the stream open. Okay. Well, I can tell you. There are 382. No, sorry. 383 people watching right now. That's more than when started. So apparently, I'm doing a pretty fucking good job with that. Yeah. That, yeah. I remember yeah. in your last stream with that Rob. Was, is it? Rob, that guy was such a crybaby when he Dude, was he done was. with the yeah, show. Was just, really, that was really hilarious. Fun. And then when you were done, you were saying that you're the show. You know, the people people treat you like a token trans True, character just to do. bring you on. True, you're bringing do. the numbers. Yeah, I do. You're, you I do a, bring the numbers. And then you called me arrogant. So it was really strange. You know, wait, it's, wait, it's, I never contested. Hold on a second. Strange, wait a yeah. second. I literally talk very openly that there is a certain amount of arrogance that is required to be a streamer. And I agree. I am arrogant. So what? Yeah, no, it's consistent yeah. with the whole evening. Um, it's, um, yeah, it's totally. So yeah, I enjoyed I mean, this. The funny thing is when, very when two arrogant people clash head to head, sometimes one of them is funnier, smarter, and more effective at arguing, and that was and me. one mutes the other way more. Well, Absolutely. one one mutes the other when one literally cannot have a basic human conversation because one is so busy preaching that they can't even stop when the other person is talking. Yeah, I think that so, was yeah. pretty blatantly obviious. Thank you. Yeah, it was blatantly Demon obvious. Mom. Super cool, man. You're you're really mad about that, aren't you? You're like super triggered about that. Do you need do you need like a do you want like a do you want to like have like a a, a session do you want me to like um I yes know, like, demon uh, I'm literally triggered you sound very triggered I'm not gonna lie you do yes okay, okay. please you, wait, uh, wait, I'll wait. let you continue wait, living in your reality wait, hold on, hold on, and hold when on. I'm gone try not to talk about me for five minutes after I'm gone just bring on another caller because that um, won't that won't be a no, good luck for your no, I'll do whatever viewers. I want to. I'll do actually, but uh, it might to. be yeah, because it'll be another opportunity for you to talk without me being able to talk back. So I mean, do you, you want right, it? Do you want part, me to... That's part yeah, and parcel sorry. for oh, this sorry. evening. Oh, sorry. Oh, so I'm so sorry. Ahead. I'm so sorry. I should leave you on. I should just have you on my show for in in perpetuity forever. Is that what you'd like? No, no. Sure I, I, you can, I do. You want me to leave? I can leave, or do, no, you, do no, you want I'll, me to? I'll, I'll get you. Don't worry. I'll make sure you know when it's time to leave. Do you want to have? Here, here's a quick. So here's a quick question. You've been really, really fucking frustrated for the last like thirty or forty minutes or so. Do you yes, want to have? Like, I have a, been frustrated. Hold on a second. Hold okay. on a second. Wait. I do. You see how you did it again? I was in the middle of saying something, and then you interrupted. Did you? Did you notice that? Yeah. Okay. So I'm offering you something very nice. Do you want to have like a moment of calm and and kindness to make you feel a little better? I feel great, but Are I always sure? love kindness. Okay. Are you sure you feel I love right? kindness no matter what, Demon Mama. Okay. And I want you to know that God has not given up on you. He has not. And Good. his son longs to enter into Ooh. your heart. Oh, whoa. He wants to enter into me? Oh, shit. Listen, I don't usually bottom, but I might for Jesus. I didn't you know, know, it's he, just I didn't know, I didn't know, no, but he, it's, it's I didn't know he wanted into me so bad. But what's what's interesting I mean, is you sense. think you're being witty. Rather... No, you think you're being witty or funny, but I don't know. I've Chat... heard that no People to laughing. other to other uh people of your your ilk of what your, do you mean you know, my your ilk? spirit no wait wait hold on hold of on. your what spirit do you mean, no the same ilk? spirit that manifested in the what pharisees my, what do you mean my ilk? You. i've heard that joke so many times no no come on what, what i've heard my ilk? people make What's all my these ilk? kind of jokes about jesus about you know these these sexual you know, uh connotations with jesus yeah. you think you're being witty you think oh, you're wait, being wait, edgy wait. i got you're a good not. one for you I you're got not you're no different i got you a good one do you think real quick i got a question for you do you think do you think that jesus was a a, 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 a bottom or a top? Which one? I think your question reveals a spirit working in you. Oh, fantastic. What May spirit? God help your soul. Oh, um, he, yeah, I don't think he will. 
I hope he keeps trying, though. I really hope he does. Oh, he left. He left the call. No, everybody. Jesus was a service top.